What is the cascade operator? If you have an object and you call multiple operations on it, then notice that the variable name is multiple times repeated. Simply remove these variable names and the semicolons in between. Also replace the single dot by a double dot the cascade operator. So all in all, if you have an object and you call multiple operations on it, then you could use the shorter cascade notation instead of using the longer form. Also, all these chained operations will be applied to this user object. So the user object has now the name MR and the age 13, and this will be saved inside of this field. Importantly, if you chain a method, then the return value of this method is ignored and discarded. So we will not return a string back to this user object. Instead, we always return the user object and these are only modifying the user object. Let's also look at a real example in Flutter. We have a rectangle painter. Within this painter, we draw a rectangle. And on this paint object, you can call multiple operations. Next to changing the color, we set a border style for the rectangle. And we also set the width of the border. 